Yeah, this is very exciting actually. We've we've bought um obviously we want to improve the um the environment around the house. So we went out today to a, a like a tree surgeon, a tree nursery or whatever. And we chose three trees which are going to be planted tomorrow they're doing some prep work at the moment and then tomorrow they'll be bringing the trees in big 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 trees and um yeah it's, it's quite it's quite a moment actually because it's going to ch change the whole dynamic of the house definitely of, of, of the garden yeah initially initially i wanted a, a banyan tree and the banyan trees are really the most they're beautiful the most amazing trees but that thing there was one tree and that was about five thousand pounds and and that's with that's without the work and the transport and, and and the digging and the removal of everything um five thousand pounds for a banyan tree is is a little bit of a luxury and to get three banyan trees we've got three trees coming in there plus we've got another one over the back there yeah i've just asked the boss over there because in my opinion, we're now on, on the, the doorstep to the rainy season in Thailand. And even though we haven't had that much torrential rain here in the south of Thailand, we have had quite some downpours. But, yeah, okay. But I just um, asked the boss if he agrees with me that now is actually the right time of the year to plant trees. And he said it's exactly that case. He said now is, is absolutely the time to plant trees. So I'm really, really happy about that because I want these trees to be, uh, to be nice and healthy. Yeah, so all good here. All good at this end. All good. Yeah, while we're out in the garden here, um, changing a bit of landscaping. So there's also one or two little plants which we added to Old Trafford. And you know, I really love these plants. These are the Tilanthia um, air plants. You know, they've got no roots and they, they survive off the moist in the air. And th there hasn't been too much moist in the air recently in Thailand with it being like 38 degrees every day. But as mentioned already, the rainy season is upon us. So they're gonna love, I do give them a spray every day and you can see the difference it makes. Like, there's a little pussy. There's a little fishy, <laughs> there's a little chick chick. <laughs> so, yeah, Old Trafford's looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, my worst nightmare has just reared its ugly head. And you can see now that, um, you know, when you move into a new build, you know, the, the builders don't care what they put down under the grass. You know, they, they, they should follow certain rules. But they don't, they just throw all the shit and crap and brick and stuff inside it. And these guys now are unearthing all kinds of bricks and slates and... Yeah. Terrible. Oh yeah. Huh? Terrible. Yeah. We can talk to the neighbours, yeah. But tell him there's no sun here. Yeah, he Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Seen the state of that? Have you seen it? It's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I just gave him a bottle of Jameson's. Um, firstly, I'm quite happy to have the Jamesons out of the house because <laughs> I keep having a glass of Jamesons before I go to bed. And secondly, I want I want to make a good impression because these guys are doing they're doing a good job and. What they're unearthing down there with the uh, the rocks and co is, is not nice at all. So, Jameson has, has appeased them and they're happy with it. Yeah, well, there, we, there we go. There's the, uh, the guys have basically just uh, vacated the property. 
and they've left us with three enormous, four, four, three enormous craters uh, in the floor. We've got three trees going in this part of the garden, identical trees, and we've got a um, bit more of a, a decorative tree going on the other side there. Let's take a look at, oh, let's take a look there. I mean, it looks an absolute bombsite, and it is a bombsite, you know, and I feel so sad that my garden looks like that. So, stage number three now is the planted of the trees and we'll be following that as it happens hi guys today is the day that the trees arrived oh, just arrived let's take a look at this so why did up <laughs> So <clears throat> the team have arrived and uh, there's I think there's four four or five of them, four of them. As you can see a real hardcore. One's barefoot, but one's wearing wellies. The one that's wearing the wellies is a pirate. And the one that's barefoot is a cowboy. Yeah, that's the single one, that's the, the decorative one and I'm not going to embarrass myself by uh, telling you which, what type of tree it is at the moment but I will, later in the video, I, I will give you some information on the tree but this is the decorative one that's going down there Yeah, this tree was actually, we didn't really intend to buy this tree it was, um, she kind of talked us into it. Uh, it was she was going to keep it for herself. She was going to take it home, take it home. I mean, she was going to keep it for her own house. Uh, but originally, this was written out for twenty thousand baht, and then she offered it as a special price of seven thousand baht. I tried to get it down to five thousand baht, as you do, and we came to an agreement on six and a half thousand dollars. Yeah, a bit of a haircut going on there, a bit of root, root treatment going on there. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, tricky as hell there. We're doing like a balancing act at the moment, trying to navigate over the wall at the same time not crashing into the roof and of course at the same time at the same time it's gonna get it's gonna get over the hole tricky as hell really tricky as hell there it
Bit of, bit of fine tuning going on there. Aligning the tree. It's a beautiful tree, it really is. I didn't actually uh, appreciate the beauty of it when we're in the in in, in the nursery. Can we call it a nursery? <coughs> yeah. So that's tree one in position. The uh, the more decorative. I mean, when I say more decorative, uh, it's just it's just a different tree. I mean, the other trees. The reason we bought them is 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 for the you know beautiful. They call them arms, actually long arms, and each arm has about seventy flowers. Yeah, they got two in already, or two positioned in already. They're not completely planted yet, but they are in place. And the third one is just coming off the truck now. Again, this one's gonna be a little bit of a tricky one because there's cables up there, there's the Old Trafford there, there's a balcony there. And this one seems to be a little, a little, bit, a little bit taller, a little bit bigger than the, than the other ones. But they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Let's have a look around. Uh, I would really like that one. Shame we didn't get the banyan tree though. Let's get a <laughs> let's get a little bit technical. I want to tell you something about the trees. These three trees now are of the same variety and. Are you ready for this? They are the, the Barringtona Acutangula variety. That's obviously a posh Latin name for it. So I'll try that one more time. Barringtonia Acutangula. Yeah, so, so that would be the Latin name. Uh, the more common names for it is the freshwater mangrove, um, the itchy tree. That's one of, the, one of the names for it, or it's a mango pine. So there you go, we've got three mango pines in the garden now, or three itchy trees. I prefer to call them an itchy tree, actually. Looking over now at the single tree there, which is the, the more decorative tree. The Latin name for it is, <coughs> well, it's horrible really, it's a, a Syzygium gratum. That's what it is. And this English name is a Eugenia. Um, never heard of it. I mean, that, Obviously, without Wikipedia, you know, we'd be nowhere with these things. But according to Wikipedia, uh, the fruit is edible with a sweet, tart flavour reminiscent of a cherry or a plum. You know, the, the leaves uh, often have a reddish tint when young, gradually maturing into deep green colour. The Syzygium grassing produces small white flowers with promise, prominent stamens, followed by round or oval shaped fruit that ripens. To a vibrant red or dark purple colours. There you go. That's 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 what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So, Eugenia. Actually, I've just found uh, just while I'm browsing there, I've just found another name for it in the English language, and it is the Eugenia uniflora uh, in the Latin in the in the Latin term. So there we go, we've got four trees in the garden. We've got the single one there, which is the Eugenia. Found the name out. And then we've got three itchy trees there. There we go. And we've got a wife there. And on the base of the itchy tree there, um, 
they give us a, giving us a little present. There's some Thai basil. <laughs> there's some basil growing at the base of the tree there, so we can make some nice Thai food later. So I just signed him off with a check for twenty-six thousand baht. Hope he's happy with that. Yeah, that's it. They're gone. Everyone's deserted. Has now left the house. The job's finished. Um, it's, it's so they've done such a good job, really. I'm going to show you exactly what they've done. Firstly, we've got the the Eugenia, and some really good news that it's thundering up there. Um, we're going to get a downpour of rain very soon, which is really, really good for those plants. It's going to help them to rest in their new places. It's going to help their roots to to find a find a way. Yeah, you can see that beautiful red bark on the tree. And here's the other ones. Here's the itchy trees or the mango pines, whatever, itchy trees we're gonna call them. They look stunning, really. <laughs> There's a woman over there waving at me. Look at those. Look at the itchy trees. Again, they will grow into their environment. And what the itchy tree gives us, it gives us like long, it gets like long floral kind of arms coming down um, and then we get about 70 flowers on each one of them and it, they look absolutely stunning when, when they flower, they really do, uh, according to, to the lady that we spoke to, that, they, that we bought them from. So, yeah, phase one, job done.